Hey everybody, welcome back to Mining Standard. I'm Corbin Hostler, and this is the Dinosaur deck, Red Green Dinosaurs. Alex Fan took this to the top 64 of the SCG Open in Dallas last weekend, and I just had to give it a shot because it's a lot of fun. Uh, this hand, I'm not sure if this hand is great or not, uh, but I do know that Communion with Dinosaurs can hopefully uh, smooth out our curve a little bit here. Uh, and I think that Death Gorge Scavenger is, is exactly what we want, as a matter of fact. Okay, so we don't have a turn two play as of yet, but we do have a, uh, a pretty nice turn three and then four play, etc. All right, we can commune again here. Load our hand up with dinosaurs. What do we got? Register Alpha. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sorry, typing to our opponent here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Long Tusk Cup. All right, we're against Team Energy. Well, luckily we are on the play. I like that. I like that we also have this this scavenger here. Um, I guess we could exile one of our own things. It's kind of irrelevant. Um, no, I don't really need to use that ability. Save it for later. All right, so it looks like our opponent will, depending on what they have here, they have two energy now. Uh, we can fight the Long Tusk Cub. Depending on what they choose to do, we can also. Hmm, okay, well, they're going hardcore with this energy here with this Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Uh, I could block it. Unfortunately, our opponent has a bunch of mana, so I kind of think we're priced into trying to race it here. Not that I love that idea, but that is does appear to be what's going on. And it's a big hit. We couldn't block it there. We can hopefully block it later in the game, though. All right, so I can place a moot. It's probably just gonna die, but that's fine, I suppose. Don't know if we have a better option here. Uh, we can give our creature double strike. We can attack for eight on this turn, that's not bad. Our opponent can't do much about it, so um, all right, so it buys us a, a little bit of time and allows us to crack in for some damage here. And then we play Register Alpha and just hopefully uh, just beat down because the Long Tusk Cup has to attack here. Our opponent's going to gain a whole bunch of life off these puzzle knots, but it's going to be a real big Long Tusk Cup. All right, so Mook goes down. However, our opponent isn't really doing much else. And his Romanap Ruins is some decent reach as well. So I guess we just, you know, we just play our stuff and go for it. Okay, well, I'm not sure if we're going to win this race, but our opponent is down to 11, and we get to play another dinos another Registor Alpha, and because this card is not legendary, and it gives other dinosaurs haste, uh, they will actually, it will have haste as itself. Ooh, a Carnage Siren. All right. Uh, problem for us now is that our opponent has Pummeler. Apparently it's a Pummeler deck. Uh, also has up to a an 8-8 eight, eight Long Tusk Cub. Or a big Pummeler when he untaps. Um, so first things first, I think, is we... Uh, play the Registor Alpha and attack. Because the, the Cub isn't going to kill us. The Pummeler might. So we're going to have to fight the Pummeler. Um, but, so let me actually do math here. If our opponent blocks, um, let's say, this guy, any of these guys, we'd be getting... I think we just have Lethal here if we just fight the Pummeler. And we're going to find out anyways. That's a lot of math to do, <laughs> so I'm just gonna just gonna go for it instead. Oh no, it's got opponent's got blossoming defense. Uh, it's kind of looking like our opponent has blossoming defense. He could be yeah, if he blossoming defense. He only has to pay three energy. 
<laughs> but I guess it, whether he had it or not, uh, he's not going to be able to kill us. Because after that, we get attacked for a hole punch and get in there. Okay, well, look at that. We just beat him down. Race the turn two long tusk cub plus a double wood weaver's puzzle knot. Okay, so in this matchup, I believe we want these things. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on a deck I've never played, obviously, but I think Carnage Tyrant's probably a little less relevant. I like the bodies we get from the Register Alphas. I bet we can cut a Mana Dork here. I'm going to cut one of the Hunt Masters. Scavenger's probably just mediocre, but it is a 3-drop, which is important. Uh, we have a lot of 5-drops now. I'm probably play one less Register Alpha. Um, okay, let's see here. Another Hunt Master, maybe? I like Drover more because it allows us to play Chandra on turn three. Yeah, I'm going to cut another Hunt Master here. We'll give this a shot. I don't know. I don't know if we want the Advances Blasting Cannons, for instance. I don't think we do. Not against the Pommelier deck. Uh, this I'll keep, though. This is, of course, why we wanted the um, the Drovers over the Hunt Masters, but our opponent's mulliganing, too, so that helps. All right, Ether Hub. All right, Kaboo. Ooh, look at that. All right, well. Found all of our sideboard cards. All right, I'm going to play the Rootbound Crag here, tap, because there's no reason not to. Uh, may as well make our opponent think we're short on lands, whether, you know, they buy it or change anything or not. There's no reason to give away any information. All right, so Huntmaster deployed. Glorybringer, not a dragon. I'm sorry, it is a dragon. It is a dragon, not a dinosaur. Although I would argue that dragons are really just big dinosaurs, right? Another Chandra, huh? Okay, well, that's fine. We're going to abrade this Ether, Ether Sphere Harvester and very powerfully get in there for one damage with our Huntmaster. Uh, really awkwardly here, we actually don't have a second red mana to cast Chandra. Um, so that's pretty bad. Pretty bad for us. Everyone has five energy and is now searching up the pummeler. Well, okay, better late than never, I suppose. All right, well, we can't do anything here, but next turn we can play Chandra, try to kill the pummeler. Let's see what happens. Oh, our opponent didn't go for it. That's interesting. I don't know what that means exactly. We also have, I think I play Chandra here. So I'd have one, two, three, four. So we don't quite have enough to Chandra into Register Alpha. But I do think I just play Chandra. And I can't do anything with our Shelter Thicket. All right, I think I'm fine passing here. Um, he very much has to deal with Chandra. It's really interesting he, he chose not to play that Pummeler. I'm not sure uh, he's waiting to, to have something to, to protect it or what. He's got a lot of energy, though. It's seven energy. Here it comes. Maybe not. Bristling Hydra, perhaps? Okay. Uh, I'm going to block... That's probably good for me if he's forced into oasising his trophy mage to try to get our Chandra. I like that. Um, we have a lot of options here now. Kind of just like plussing Chandra, seeing what happens. We might get some free card here. It was a land, so we didn't have a choice. Okay, that's fine. Um, I can play Register Alpha uh, and just beat. I think that that is good. Because the Glorybringer, of course, has haste, so we want to play it less. Now we'll go ahead and play the Sheltered Thicket. Um, we'll probably use a little bit more mana. Okay, we've been melted down. <laughs> Our Dino Token has melted down, but that's why you play cards that give you two creatures. Also, I realize, uh, okay, there's a Palmer. I realized earlier our opponent might have searched up um, Harvester with this. I don't really remember the order. Um, okay, so the Palmer has arrived and he can protect it. Uh, the problem for him is that we're just going to tax his energy so hard by 
I'm just going at it with Chandra here. Oh, he's just going to let it go. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm, there's no reason not to play. He's a, whatever he does isn't going to have haste, so I don't really see a reason not to play Glorybringer here and just kind of, you know, go to town. All right, things are looking uh, pretty solid, I think. Let's see what our opponent's up to here. He's going to melt down another card, sure. All right, so all we have is an exerted glory burn. Our opponent has 13 energy, uh, but unfortunately has no cards in hand. Flooded out a little bit over there. So I think we're going to take this one down. Yeah, that, that plan worked out pretty much exactly how we wanted it. The Glorybringer Chandra Cyborg plan uh, in the mid-range mirror. Or I guess we're a mid-range deck, I suppose we are. Our opponent's saying, our opponent's a fan of the series, uh, wants to see Marvel in Modern. So that's interesting. I don't know. There's so few energy cards uh, that I'm not sure if that's possible or not. But it'd be worth it. Be worth a try. Uh, either way, uh, good match. Dino beat down. It begins.